बिसमीम डी स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेलकम टू ऑफिस डॉट कॉम डॉट पी के डी स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ योर ओन प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कम एंड लर्न एंड वी ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड यू विद द बेस्ट ऑफ नॉलेज वी कैन डी स्टूडेंट्स हाउ वी आर डूइंग वी कैन नो दिस बाय योर कॉमेंट्स एंड द व्यूज़ विच यू शेयर अबाउट आवर परफॉर्मेंस आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल and please share your views in the comment section also hit the bell icon so that whenever a new video is posted you can get it dear students your positive and negative comments both they are helpful for us your positive comments will help us boost our morale and your negative comments will help us improve the way we are doing so please do share your views do share the videos to your fellows as well so that more and more people can benefit from the work of office.com.pk dear students uh, this is your biology lecture and in the previous lecture we have discussed about the dna replication uh, the dna replication fog and the whole mechanism and the enzymes involved in the dna replication now today we are going to discuss about a gene and the very famous one gene one polypeptide hypothesis or you can say a theory so let us discuss what is a gene we have been talking about genes dna now first we will define a gene what is a gene basically so a gene is a part of dna it is a part of dna or you can say a section of dna that codes for certain proteins in your body the proteins mainly enzymes the enzymes that are controlling certain functions of the body so gene is a part or a fragment or a section of dna that codes for specific proteins specially enzymes and enzymes they are involved in the metabolism and hence they work in the normal functioning of human body now if there is any kind of defect in the gene it will ultimately affect the formation of that specific protein and ultimately the enzyme either it will not be formed or if it is formed by that defective gene the enzyme will also be defective thereby it will affect negatively the metabolism of human body and ultimately the whole process is disturbed and that will result in certain genetic disorders or you can say genetic diseases that is a little bit introduction about a gene now come to the point the year 1902 in this year two scientists whose names were archibald garrard and william bateson they were observing some of their patients and what they observed was that there are certain diseases that run in families they are more prevalent or they are more profound in particular families and what did they do they observed several generations of these families and what they observed was that the disease causing g 
genes were recessive it means the genes were not dominant they were recessive in nature it means that for example we take the example of any disease encoding for example thalassemia now this t is for the disease and this t is for the normal now this is the recessive chromosome with recessive gene it will not cause any disease unless in some person two recessive alleles with their recessive genes are together and they will result in the disease they also concluded that the disorders were like mendelian traits you are well aware with the work of gregor mendel who worked on the pea plant and he observed seven different characteristics of that pea plant including the color the shape of the pea the height of the plant and different other characteristics so the characteristics they followed the pattern of mendelian characteristics and the diseases result from changes in hereditary information it means that diseases will result when certain genes or certain alleles they are disturbed how they will be disturbed because of certain changes which will occur in the genetic information means you can call them mutations it means that if mutations disturb a gene ultimately it will result in a genetic disease now among many different diseases observed by both these scientists one was alkaptonuria now let us see what is alkaptonuria and how it is supporting the different evidences <laughs>